All of New Jersey's Republican congressmen ultimately voted to support Speaker Boehner, and that includes Congressman Rodney Freelingheisen, who joins us now on the phone from Washington. Congressman, good of you to join us. I'm, I'm struck by the fact that Governor Christie, while he was criticizing the Speaker very vehemently, was also touting your strong work to try to build up uh, the consensus for hurricane support. Did you have any second thoughts about supporting I Mr. Boehner? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, certainly, uh, Speaker Boehner had his hands full with the uh, fiscal cliff. Obviously, the uh, country is spending a lot more money than it's bringing in. Uh, there were issues that related to taxes that would have fallen on just about every American who pays income taxes. And I'm glad that the, uh, the governor was among those who helped, along with the New Jersey congressional delegation, I may say bipartisan, to help the speaker and the majority leader focus back on, you know, the, the real needs of New York and New Jersey and the New York metropolitan area, and that includes uh, Connecticut, because there's still a lot of misery. There are a lot of people without houses, businesses that have been uh, ruined, small businesses, a lot of people out of work, uh, very unhappy. So I'm the Congress and the, and the House is uh, redirecting its efforts, and we anticipate starting tomorrow we're going to be getting uh, some money for the uh, national flood insurance program. Are, are the and votes there, Congressman? Are there, are there the votes right now to pass both this preliminary vote and the one that's scheduled well, for I, about a week I'm and a sure, half? I'm sure there will be votes tomorrow for the initial tranche, will be, which will be to replenish the national flood insurance program. That's $9.7 billion. And then uh, on uh, January 15th, we will be doing the, the, the rest of the Hurricane uh, Sandy uh, supplemental, which will be somewhere in the $20 billion range, plus another $33 billion, uh, meeting the needs of both uh, the requests from Governor Cuomo and Governor Christie. But if I read you correctly, sir, yeah. you're, you're saying you're confident that, that this Congress, this new Congress, will vote to support that, will we'll approve well, I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I feel much better about that support since uh, our congressional uh, members of Congress met with both the, the Speaker and the Majority Leader yesterday afternoon. Uh, obviously, we, we have some work to do between now and January 15th to solidify support. But I, I think most uh, members realize that, that have been through similar emergencies and crises that we in the Northeast have always stepped forward to, to help them in their time of need. And so if they weren't aware of it, they'll certainly be aware of it by the time we get together uh, in about uh, 11 days. Where is the resistance? Yesterday, Congressman Lobiondo, he didn't want to name names, but he told me that there were Southern members uh, of Congress who were the ones who were impediments, he felt, to possibly getting this approved. Well, Do you there, agree with there, that? There, there, there are, I think all members of, of Congress are concerned about incurring more debt, but many of those uh, Southern members have been on the receiving end of, of uh, supplemental aid in their times of need. Katrina comes to mind. If you look what the taxpayers of New York and New Jersey and our region and other parts of the country uh, poured into uh, immediate assistance for Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, uh, it, it, it's, I think, $10 billion went out within a matter of three or four days. And here we're like 67 days away from our disaster, uh, our major disaster. And uh, while we've received some initial money from federal agencies, we have yet to receive the type of money that many communities in the South, not just in those I've mentioned, but uh, from time to time, Texas and Florida have also been inflicted by some incredibly bad hurricanes and storms and national emergencies. So I, we're, we're, we're making our colleagues very much aware that this is our Katrina, that this is our misery, and they need to come uh, to our aid. Congressman, before I let you go, yeah. tell me about that meeting that you had with the speaker and with the majority, with the majority leader. Was well, there yelling? Uh, Was it contentious? Did no, you no. I, I mean, the, the, the speaker is very, was, is very much aware, uh, because both Republicans and Democrats representing New Jersey and New York and, and in our region have been talking with him and, and the the majority leader, but I, I think... So how would you characterize his decision not to vote, though? I mean, well, I, do you I, understand I it, why the governor it, was as I angry as he was? I think a lot of it had to do with the, 
perhaps the, 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 the lateness of the hour, a lot of the business surrounding the, the final vote uh, that came out of the Senate, the, 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 the Senate package. But, uh, no, I think we're on the right course now. Uh, I think the Speaker is supporting our effort. The majority leader is. And, uh, and, and I want to, you know, I want to thank Governor Christie for coming out full square, characteristically, uh, uh, pointing up that when New Jersey, you know, this is New Jersey's time of need in crisis. And, uh, and we've supported the rest of the nation when they've had a crisis. It's time for them to support us. And I think he put a very fine point on that uh, to our leadership. Congressman, we right. appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Mike. Bye.